It's mail day. Welcome to Chaos Comics, everybody. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you have those notifications fully turned on. Uh, and it's mail day. We've got a lot of packages to go over, as you can see. So let's get into it. There we go. Everything is open and ready. Now, these are multiple whatnot auctions that me and my 12-year-old daughter, Lainey, uh, actually won last week. This is from uh, Whatnot. And I want to go through it with you guys, see what you think, kind of tell you my thoughts on certain ones that I really, really wanted. And you can tell me which ones you want. Some of this will probably end up in the Chaos Comics store, whether that's in real life or online or on a live auction on whatnot in the future. So maybe you see a book here that you like or you want, and maybe you can get it in the future. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you have those notifications on. And uh, let's just get into it. So the top one... We're just gonna pull out the stack. Two of these were in bulk. So we'll do it this way. And then we'll just set them over to the side and you guys can tell me what you think. So we have an Avengers Assemble, number 151. A lot of these books were in really, really good shape too, which is one of the reasons. And I know it's always, <laughs> it's, it's always a gamble when you're doing things online and you don't have the book in front of you physically. Totally understand that. 152 Avengers. Um, I'm really trying to hit X-Men and Avengers inventory in a big, big way over the next coming months leading up to uh, the end of the year. Uh, Avengers 153. And if you guys are following the road to opening the Chaos Comics store, the comic store, definitely going to do a video soon about the timeline because getting inventory and starting to kind of uh, put the business model together that's not hard that's actually the easiest part of this finding the right location uh, and uh, finding something that makes sense when it comes to uh, what we're paying a lease and how we're going to structure the business model that's a different story so we're going to go over all those details avengers 154 just a stack of avengers and i think a lot of them are in line 15 cents <laughs> 155 there you go. 156. So we've got a little run here. That staple's kind of messed up. 157. Also, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter at Comic Direct. Uh, you should, though. We we uh, we won an auction the other night. A uh, Amazing Spider-Man number two. And I'll have a video going up once I get it in. I'll tell you the story about it and the process of what we're going to do to get it graded. I'm like a kid when it comes to that. All right, next group, and then we get into some individual comics. Here we go, we'll put those right there. Once again, a lot of these books, they're in good shape, especially for Silver Age books. Okay, Avengers number 145, look at that. That is just, oh, man, absolutely love it. Number nine, King Size Annual Avengers. Number eight. Really good color on those, on those two. Avengers number 150, 149. I told you, these were very focused on Avengers. We want a lot of Avengers inventory in the future. Okay, now we get into some single auctions that I got. And uh, I've got a bead on a collection, over 3,000 comics. I don't think any of it's bagged and boarded, but it's been boxed for decades. And the, the rumor is there's 50s flash, there's vintage golden age Western stuff. So hopefully we'll, we'll get to check that out in the future. All right, here we go. Daredevil number 70, the man without fear. Look at that. I've got to really start giving grades and uh, ratings to books. I just, I, I wanna do it right. I would definitely probably say this is very, very low end. You can see all the spine issues. I haven't pulled it out, but I mean the rounded corners, you've got creases everywhere. I'm gonna guess on this one and say this would be about probably a two, two and a half. You guys let me know if you agree or disagree. Some really old daredevil here. Number 32, once again, obviously, in some rough shape. I'd put this in that two to two and a half too. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Have to get, 
have to get comfortable with it. This one's in way better shape. Still has spine damage, some spine ticks and everything, but color is good. It's way better than the first two. Daredevil number 39. Look at this. Look at this. Daredevil number nine. We are going way, way back, my friends. Way back. And then we go from Daredevil number nine, 12 center, to an Iron Man 297. <laughs> Still cool, though. Can't go wrong with Iron Man. Love the bright colors on this one. It's got some staining in the middle, though. X Men 224, another Iron Man, a Flash, the annual Flash. That book's in really, really good shape, too. Got the Mighty Thor, number 398. I don't remember why I got, I bet Laney won this one. Not really sure why, but. The Thor War, the mighty Thor with Loki, or is he? I actually want to read that book. I'm probably going to pull that one out and read it. Hands of the Mandarin. Anything with Mandarin Iron Man, I'm a fan of. Number 311. This was really, this was unique. Number one, collector's item, super pro, guest starring, Spider-Man. <laughs> First issue, it's in phenomenal shape not really sure don't even know the value on this thing i'll have to look it up then we've got a spider-man number 17 with him in the the grasp of thanos and the infinity gauntlet really really cool cover i actually just bought that one specifically for the cover and then we go back a little bit spider-man number 131 i would call this one a three 3.5 maybe a little higher maybe a four it's in pretty good shape for what it is. And finally, look at this. Spider-Man number 73. Definitely got some creases in it featuring Man Mountain Marco, 12 center. There you go, guys. Just another pickup along the way. Let me know if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, if you're enjoying uh, what we're doing. We're just getting started and you guys can comment. I'll reply, follow me on Comic Direct. Uh, on Twitter. I actually made a Reddit too. Just slowly starting to get everything going. Hope you guys have a good day. Let me know what your favorite book out of this is and I'll see you soon.